In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create a custom login form for our WordPress website. So we will be taking this default WordPress login form and create something like this. Here we have all the fields like username, password, remember me for the next login and lost password recovery link and the login button. And this is the first video of our 10 video playlist series where we will show you how you can create custom forms like sign in form or user registration form or password recovery form or how you can create this sign up and login form in a pop-up how you can add custom fields in your registration form and how you can create a social login form and many more so to learn more make sure you check out our complete playlist we will link that in the i button above and the video description below for now let's dive in in our wordpress backend and build our custom sign in form first step is to make sure that we have the latest version of the plus add-ons for Gutenberg free as well as the pro version and after that we need to go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks and here we need to search for login and this is the login registration block that we are going to use and here we can see it's part of the pro plan so make sure you have the pro version installed and activated and after that just turn on this block and then click on save Alright, so now let's go to create a page and start building our custom sign-in form. So we go to pages and here we already have a page. Let's edit this. Alright, so let's start by adding our container first. And in this, we are going to search for our login block. So this is login and sign up block that we are going to use. So here we have our default login form and we can go ahead and do some styling using the style tab of this block which is similar to all the other Gutenberg blocks that we have in plus add-ons. So let me just quickly go ahead and do some styling and then we will talk about all the options available in this login form. So let me start by opening the list view and then we'll click on our container block and if you go into flex property and here let's make the height fit to screen and under flex property we will make everything aligned in the middle and for the column alignment we will choose space between and let's go to style and here we are going to add some gradient in the background something like this and now we go to advance add some padding so we will turn this to percentage and let's unlink this and for the right we will add 35 from the left again we will make it 35 and let's come back here in our flex property and then do the row alignment as center now let's click on our login form and here for the style we will choose a background color so here we have the box content option so here we are going to add a background color like this one and in order to add some space around these elements, we will go in the padding section and then add around 20 pixels here. And for the border radius, let's add 15 pixels so that we can have some rounded corners. And maybe we can add some drop shadow as well. So we come back here in our style tab. And for typography, we are going to choose opens. And we will select font size as 30 and color we will choose white and let's make the font style as uppercase so we will choose uppercase from here and maybe we can add some line height as well to give it some gap all right let's close this and now we have the form label so we will change the font family from here let's change the font size to 15 let us spacing we will increase it a bit and let's increase the line height as well and for the color once again we are going to choose some dark gray shade and next we have the form input field and here again we can change the typography so maybe we can change the font style to italic so this is how it's going to look and we can change the placeholder text color so let's again make it a little bit gray next we have the form checker or remember me option so let's change the color to our gray shade and after this we have form button so let's change the background color first so we will keep this color from our color palette now for the typography let's change the font to poppins again 
and we will select font weight as as 600 and width we will keep it as percentage and we will make it 100 percent and we will align the button in center as well as the text and for the padding let's go ahead and add a little bit of padding from the top as well as on the bottom after this maybe we can add a little bit of margin to the bottom like this all right after that we have the lost password link and this is the option to change the styling first let's change the color to the gray one so this is how our sign in form looks after styling now i tried to keep the design very simple but you are not restricted to this option only you can add any blog from the Gutenberg library. Maybe you can add some background images, videos, or the possibilities are endless. Now let's talk about all the options available. Now if we take a look in the layout tab, we have the type of forms. So right now we are building login form, but in the coming videos in our playlist, we are going to cover how we can create a register form like this one, a login register form with a tab structure, and a forward password form like this one. And then we will cover how we can add various other features in our form. So right now we come back here on the login form. Here we have the content alignment. We can change that from here. And after this, we have a login option. So here we can control all the fields for this login form, like username. So here, instead of username, we can add any other field like social login magic link and extra text that we are going to cover in the later videos in this playlist and after all these fields you can also add your own custom field so all you have to do is just click on add field and here we can add maybe a social login or maybe an extra text so we can control that from here but again we will cover all that in the later videos After this, we have add action. So here we can choose redirect. And once a user login, we can redirect them to our custom page. For this example, once the user login, we will redirect them to our service page where we have this pricing table and then user can sign up for any plan. So here, let's copy the URL of this page and then enter it here. And below this, we have login form messages. So these are the typical messages that will appear once we do the login process. So here we have the loading text, success and validation and error text. So if you want to customize the text, you can do that from here. And after this, we have my account menu. So once you are logged in and visit the same page again, you of course not going to see the login form. It's going to show you the my account icon. So let me update this here and open this in a new tab in this window itself. So here, as we are already logged in, we cannot see the login form, but it's showing us our avatar image and our username. And that all we can control from here. In my account menu, we have an option for my account menu itself. So we can turn this off. So nothing will be visible. Below this, we have enable in backend. So if we turn it on, we can see a small preview here itself. After this, we have use avatar. So we can hide or show it from here. We can show our username and select the format. So right now we can select our first name, last name, like this one. And once we have selected that, what should happen after we mouse hover on this menu? So right now, if we do the mouse hover, these are the three options we can see here. And that again, we get control from here. The so first option is edit profile. This is showing up here. So we can enable or disable this from here or even edit this title. Along with that, we can also add an icon here. So maybe we can choose an icon like this one. And we also have option for logout and let's give it an icon like this one. After this, we can also add extra menu items. For now, we have a menu one sample link. And for this one, we can change the text and add some icon like this one and give any custom URL here. So this is how this menu is going to look. And once again, we can customize the look from our styling tab. So if we scroll down here, we have the my account menu section. And here we can add a little bit of background color. And once again, we can customize all the typography and other details. And below this, we have sub menu option. 
So here we can customize how this sub menu will look. So maybe we can add some gap in between these links. So this is how it's going to look. And maybe we can add some padding like this one. So this is how it's going to look. And we can play around with various other styles as well. So let's update this here again. And after my account menu, we have lost password. So this is the lost password link here. We can customize all the options using this. And that again, we are going to cover in the later videos in our playlist. So stay tuned for that. And then we have the form heading. So right now it says sign in. You can customize the text from here and then change the alignment as per our design requirement. Once again, all the styling can be controlled from this style tab. So right now, let's go ahead and update this page and let's open this in a private window and see how it works and if it redirects us to our custom service page. So here we are in a private window. And let's enter the username and password. Let's click on login. All right, login successful. And we jump directly onto our service page on our pricing table. So this is how you can redirect your visitors after login to any planning page on your site. So this is how we can create a custom login form in our WordPress website. In the next video of this playlist, we will cover how we can create a custom registration form for our WordPress site. Make sure you go ahead and watch the complete playlist to learn more about how we can create some amazing looking forms using the login and the registration block from the plus add-ons. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.